called off a day early, so uh, we're here tonight. I have a piece of you in front of me. You can see it's already been cut to the shape of the seat. I'm just kind of removing all the saw marks now with some sandpaper and our very cool hand plane. Now I already need to correct myself. I think I said this was you. It's not, it's Elm. You can see there, I'm making a replica of this Urkal chair. And the seat is made out of a wood known as Elm. Elm is perfect for seats because it doesn't split or crack easily, which is handy if you have a big wide base like that with a lot of ingrain. So that's what we're doing here tonight. Now, you can already see the comments rolling in. How's it going, lads? Lucy, what are you eating? Huh? We were causing ruckus last live stream, so we might have to shut the door. Ah, lovely cup of tea. Bought a big teapot or old kettle there today, so we'll be expecting that restoration, hopefully soon. When do I go back to college? Not until September. Don't worry, we still have um, still have a few months of full-time content creation, among other things. But uh, a full couple of uh, months, actually. But uh, I'll still be making videos when I'm in college, just not as much, because I do kind of need to pass. You know, if I am going to college, I might as well just get it done. I have no intention in, you know, putting the head down and doing very well. I just want to scrape a pass, you know? I'd buy an axe. Uh, I'd love to sell you an axe, Dad, but I don't think I have any to sell at the minute. Please get degrees, that's very clever. College, no, I'm doing a commerce, which is another word for business, I think. Look, um, I didn't like the course, that's why I took the year off, but um, I think it does make sense to have a degree. And uh, although I don't like the degree, it's not that bad and it is a good kind of general purpose degree. So I'll just, instead of starting a new course all over again and wasting the next four years, I'll just get this, this course done and then do this full time, I think. Because I am making a living off content creation. It's not a super living, but hopefully we can crank it up when I put more time into it down the line. Can I buy some ash? Um, where are you based? Because I think I do um, know a fella who's selling a lot of ash at the minute. So email me, and if you're local, you can come down and take a look at it. Ah, stop, yeah, that is definitely... I think that's the wonderful thing about woodworking. There's so many different avenues and rabbit holes you can go down, and you can be forever learning about it. Can I make an axe handle on a live? I probably could actually, it'd be a very long live stream because they take me about three hours to make, but I think that'd be a fun video actually. I could talk my way through this in more detail than I'll ever get across in a video. Good idea, yeah, I'll do that at some point for you. You'll be going to this old bookshop in a Tudor building on Tuesday. I hope you find a hidden gem pre-1830. Nice one, Oliver. Best of luck with it. Lucy sniffing something out. Hi. Got viewers from England, Michigan. Play to you, Sean, and your winning goal.
how can you message me? Um, Instagram as own Raiden underscore email. It's in the about section. That's probably the best way is to be honest. Can you email me a picture of your dad's hand playing collection? Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd like to see that. City got relegated from the Premier League. Is that Manchester City? I don't really follow any sports. What's my most expensive tool? I actually don't know. I have a few expensive tools here in front of me. This is a Stanley Compass plane. Probably be worth around 120 quid. Maybe more. Got a, got this. this is a Sweetheart Stanley number seven. Um, Original rosewood handles, sweetheart ones are more desirable. This is 1920s, 100 years old. It's probably worth about 200 quid. Um, they're investment slides, they're not a waste of money. I can probably sell this if I ever need to, which I won't. Um, this fella here is a Bedrock 605. Original rosewood handles, again, sweetheart. Probably worth about 240 quid. This is, this is me flexing here. I'll stop bragging. I have cheap tools too. Um, mm. That being said, tools, I have no problem spending money on tools. And I would advise anyone to spend money on tools. There's, cheap tools will cost you money in the long run. Cheap tools are never cheap. That's what they say. Um, and yeah, if you buy a tool like this fella, like, yeah, 200 quid is a lot of money. But you buy it. Now you have a tool that you can use. You can earn money with it if you use it smart. Um, it's not going to depreciate in value, like it's 100 years old, it's only going to go up in value. And I can always sell this on if ever I need the cash, and buy it back again later, do you know? Especially tools like this are only show up for sale in Ireland, maybe once a year if you're lucky. So I'm, I check done deal very often, it's one of my bad habits. But yeah, I don't mind taking money out of the bank, because... It's only going to lose value there to inflation. So I think buying vintage stuff is a great investment. If I had a place to put it, I'd probably buy a vintage car and I bought a vintage motorbike recently. Vintage, you know, good for the environment and your personal finances. Yeah, I could be a financial advisor, YouTube channel. Buy old shit. Hey, we have a donation. Patrick Cameron says, your work lad i'm originally from galway but moved to australia as a child very nice a lot of people moving to um moving to oz at the minute seems to be a lot of money being made out there it's a shame though a lot of young people it's unfortunate they can't find jobs or houses in ireland Am I thinking of making any longer form videos? Yeah, long form videos are kind of probably something I'll have to do if I do want to keep making a living off this because they pay a lot more than the short form ones. I do prefer making short form videos like the shorts and the TikToks, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to start doing long form ones. I bought a rusty old kettle today. Do you ever see the black ones that hang over fires? Um, I went around to an old antique yard and this fellow was really expensive and he was really hard to haggle with, but uh. I ended up paying 50 quid for the rustiest one I could find. Now, I did fill it with water, make sure it wasn't cracked or anything, but the lid didn't even fit right, so I'll have to fix that. So I'll be restoring that soon enough when I'll be using electrolysis, and, you know, it'll be a big long-form video for you. But, um, in regarding a three-hour-long live stream, that could be interesting, where I just, uh, the process of, um... Do you know what I'd probably do? I'd get a piece of ash and I'd, I'd cut it into the rough shape of a um, axe handle and then I'd just shape it and fit the head on and maybe sharpen it. That'd be a full live stream. Maybe try use a short to draw in an audience. Okay, and then sorry. Could be a form of the works. Okay, interesting, yeah. I might do that. 
Can I give you a tour of the workshop? It's kind of a mess at the minute, but sure, why not? So this is the door. We have uh, 24 seven security down there. Anything to report, Lucy? All good. Um, so this behind me, this mess, is a workbench. The first workbench I ever made with my dad about two or three years ago. I put a shelf up and now I use it to store load little hand planes. Uh, we've got the power drills hidden there in the corner, but they don't exist. Um, and some more power tools down here as well. Um, got the woodworking vice there then, which we're working on at the minute. And this wall is where I lean the phone against when I'm doing all my video on. So normally, I come in through that door back there. Um, and I used to have a big workbench here for the longest time, but I'm after moving that to a different workshop now. So we have loads of room to dance and play with Lucy around the shop. Um, it's my dad's workbench then, which I've kind of invaded. I got an old blacksmith's vice back here, look. Can I turn the camera around, I wonder? I can. Yeah, so I got that there. Um, got an old bench grinder. The radio, which I can't turn on because I have to constantly turn it on and off when I'm doing videos. Uh, which makes it a bit of a pain in the ass. Here we have the handrail of hand tools. Clamps. My, uh, this is a cool fella here. A foot driven grinding wheel. It kind of breaks sometimes. Bought that a year ago. It was in the steam rally, which is a... Uh, Something I'm really looking forward to next year. It's the Inner Shannon Steam Rally. It's um, a load of steam engines, you know, the big old traction engines that are powered by coal. Real climate changers. Um, yeah, a load of them all get together in a field and they drive around the place and the weather's looking good for it. Normally it rains on this particular weekend and the whole grass turns to muck. And a couple of thousand people all come together and they like looking at old cars and threshing machines and other bits of agricultural machinery. And I'm going to be there demonstrating traditional woodworking. I think we're going to be making Sugan chairs, which I'm going to do a whole video on down the line. And we're going to weave the seat and we're going to be making axe handles. And we're going to have a gay old time. Right. Shunny, Sonny Carter said, uh, Hi, love your videos. Hopefully you will message me back. I will try my very best. Where did you message me on? What wood is the best for furniture? I really like working with beach at the minute. See the chair I'm working on back here? It's all made out of beach. I've made all the components. I just need to sand some of them. Let's see here now. We have one of the pieces here. It's a really nice wood I'm enjoying working with. Very hard, finishes very nicely. So yeah, I like making furniture out of beach these days, but I like all wood. They all have their own admirable properties. The only wood I've ever worked with that I've been like, ugh, could not work with that again, was a sycamore. I'm after feeling a bump on my back leads. I hope it's just an insect bite. I was out camping the last two nights. So there's a good chance it is. Do I ever work uh, with more expensive woods? Not really, and to be honest, I don't particularly like the look of purple heart, or purple harp, or whatever it is. It's purple. It doesn't look like wood at all. Um, teak, um, don't know much about teak, only that any older carpenters I talk to mentioned that the older teak is a lot better than the new teak we get and I've always wondered is that like they were using old growth teak and now they're using new growth teak which is a lot better or has it been that like um that certain types of teak were not allowed to cut down anymore because of conservation and we're using an inferior teak if anyone knows I'd love to read up on that hey PB how are we getting on hi from Rochester New York well thank you very much my friend. Can I demonstrate my other language? Uh, I wish I spoke Gaelic, but I don't, so I can't. I've downloaded Duolingo, and maybe someday I'll open it. Right, we have another one in. Gustav's record reviews, cool. Um, you are quite cool. Well, you sound quite cool. Um, there's a thing where you can like see all the people that donated to your most recent live. So next time I have the laptop up, I'll go check out your record reviews. If you actually post them. I hope you do. Hey, we have another viewer in from Rochester. What's the Sheffield steel equivalent of hand sauce? I think a lot of hand sauce steel did come from uh, Sheffield as well. 
quite honest, I wish my um, knowledge of Saab manufacturers um, was better than it is. How am I going to manage um, signing all the autographs to college? Hey, lads. Um, is this kind of chill? I don't think most people in college know I have a YouTube channel, which is great. But even if I did, Ireland has a weird culture, which is great. I think um, if there is anyone who's like, that you recognize someone, most of the time you'll, you won't say it to them. It'd be too awkward, it'd be too shy to say, I I see you off TikTok. A lot of people do, but I feel like you, I see a lot of people and they kind of do a double take when they see you. And you're like, okay, this person has recognized me, but they're not gonna say it. That or I'm really big headed going around the place thinking people recognize me. But also, if I don't want to get recognized, I take off the hat and it's not a problem. So that's why I will always be wearing hats in my videos. Always. I was thinking of sprucing it up. We got some good suggestions in last uh, week for what hats to wear. I'm going to get a big old pirate hat. Um, there was a few other. I must go back on it. Because uh, we're going to up our hat game at some point. Baby, baddie, you are advice for the youngins, for young people trying to get into woodworking. Is that what you mean? Um, pick a project and go for it. It'll probably be really bad, useless, and no good. But you'll definitely learn something along the way. Repeat that process a few more times, and then you're producing good fun stuff. Buy the tools you need as you go. It's the best way to do it. You should wear gloves when sanding. Why is that? I don't have a P.O. box, but um, I kind of just trust people with... If someone wants to send me something, I just kind of give them my address. And uh, I haven't been doxxed yet. Ireland's pretty small. The neighbours kind of look out for each other. Oh, Yeet Cannon Blaster. Love your videos. Keep it up from Michigan, USA. Thank you very much, Yeet Cannon Blaster. What should you make to start off your career in woodworking? A mallet, I've said it a million times. Make yourself a mallet. Very easy to make, you just cut, a piece, cut two pieces of wood and figure out how to join them together. And then you're good to go. And now you have a cool tool that you can use to do your next project. Happy days, everybody wins. I think some of the first experience I ever had working with wood was um, actually putting handles on axes. I've been doing it for a very long time just buying buying store-bought axe handles and then shaping them down with an axe and uh, with a knife and sandpaper and replacing old axe heads answer to any problem wing it oh, hello Chloe how are you keeping you're 29 and would love to get into joinery. Would you recommend going to college to get joinery? Not at all, lad. Figure it out. There is so much resources available online on YouTube. No, absolutely not. You can figure everything out by your own. If you have an internet connection, you are golden. Just start buying things. Pick a project and just go for it. There's a few YouTube channels, you know, I can recommend you. Um, Rex Kruger, I really used to like watching him, especially when I was starting off my um, woodworking journey. Wood by Wright then is kind of like college for woodworking. He goes kind of more into detail. Paul Sellers as well is great for beginners. Um, yeah, the three of them. I have an interview with um, James, Mr. Wood by Wright, um, in a few days' time. So I'm looking forward to that because it's like, it's 
it's like meeting your heroes, you know? I was a big fan of this fella ever since I started woodworking. And then I got an email off one morning being like, um, will you come on an interview on the 30th? So that's coming up. So I'm really looking forward to that. Even though I don't really like doing interviews, I've turned down pretty much every single offer. Um, not every single offer, but most offers. Um, but no, I have to have to say yes for him now. You found a collection of old books on carpentry from around 1900, but your friend bought them first. I guess would have been useful now, given my newfound interest in carpentry. Cool. If you ever come across any more, email me, they'd be cool to see. And where where exactly are you based? I could buy them off you. Oh, and how do you pronounce your name? I should tell you, really do an FAQ, because that gets asked nearly every live stream. I suppose it's not a very common name over in America. But it's Owen, like um, Owen. I think you spell it O-W-E-N, but Eoin is an Irish sounding way of spelling it. E-O-I-N. The E is silent. Well, I'll show you what I'm doing here, lads. Basically, when I cut this, right, I left a load of saw marks, which are kind of hard to see, look. See them kind of vertical ones? I think it's called chatter. So I'm kind of just sanding it all out. It's very bad at the edge there. But we're going to fix that up in a minute. We're doing the hard parts first. So yeah, we have, I think this is really coarse sandpaper. This is what? 40 grit. So we're just, we're showing no mercy. We're getting in there. This elm is tough stuff. Yeah, Owen, Owen, and Owen. Sounds like the same. Yep, they're all the same. Yeah, the E-O-G-H-A-N spelling is, is even, even worse. There's a silent E and a G. The people in Ireland also spell your name Ian or did my parents lie to me? I don't know, I don't think so. I think they might have been lying. Maybe ask them about everything they've ever told you. Gotta head to work. Well, good luck, Fubits. Be safe, be good, and enjoy. I'll only be live for another 10 minutes or so anyway. I like to keep these to half an hour long. You've been making um, spoons with elm as of recent. It's a great wood to work with. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's hard to come by them nowadays. Dutch elm disease kind of did a number on them there for a while. It was um, an ideal wood to use, you know, in the center of a, like a wheel, like the wooden wheels, the hub. Those would have been made out of elm. And it's pretty much, a, I've been looking around trying to find elm to, to make one of them wheels, but I can't find any. So if anyone in Ireland has some big, Thick ass elm they can sell me to make a wheel, two wheels ideally. Um, text me, message me. I would love to buy some. Or if you have some elm on your property that you would like removed. Very hard to find order yours in. Damn, yeah. I think the most fun project I ever did was the boat I built last year. I wish I took more videos and was kind of on social media at the time because that would have been a really cool project to share. But um, yeah, it's kind of falling apart now because I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. And uh, yeah, it still floats, but I think it's kind of getting dangerous. Something always breaks and it's kind of leaking a lot. Um, so I think before I get an accident on it, I'm just going to burn it or break it or something. Um, do you know, I've had a lot of fun with it. I've learned a lot with it. I still take it out camping frequently and I'm going to make another one. So stay tuned.
I think we had a donation there. Sam Ruby says, uh, you are the man on. Thank you very much. Love the channel. Cheers. Thank you. Getting a lot of uh, comments held for review lately. See, are they just like porn bots or something? Okay, life's a bitch and then you die. Ah, we'll let, the, we'll, we'll let them see that. There we go. Patrick Harris, they're trying to censor you. Watch your language, buddy. Harris is going to point. Justice for Patrick Harris. You live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hey, isn't that the Breaking Bad town? Uh, and these gentlemen that I work for uh, in Intel had a contract and we would always get together and very strong accent. Okay, the Irish accent and how confusing it is. I think I have a very neutral Irish accent. It's not a very strong Cork accent. The Cork accent is kind of a bit... It's an octave higher than the rest of the country. Can't even do a good Cork accent. Just the one language, I'm afraid. Uh, Erland... Er funny. Would making a sword scabbard interest you? I'm in the US. Cost $1,200. Can you email me what that looks like? And I will see what I can do. I don't know what a sword scabbard. Is that like the sheath that the sword goes into or what? scroll down to the newest comments for some reason. <sighs> What's my view on the meaning of life? I don't know. This isn't a philosophy channel. I suppose we don't know why we're here, but we are. So might as well do the wood. There's nothing particularly difficult. Like, they're all fairly easy tasks. They just take ages and be repetitive and boring. I suppose the kind of mentally enduring tasks. I'm making these tables at the minute and they're breaking my heart and they're taking forever. But sure, look, we'll get there eventually. We got the resilience. Sawdust in the wind is right. 